A study of 2,300 journals revealed that Q1 Scopus Index journals reject between 70 and 95% of all submitted papers. But to advance your career, you do need to publish in Q1 Scopus Index journals. So how do you do that? Over the last three years, I've helped hundreds of PhD students and researchers publish in top Scopus Index journals. And in this video, I want to show you four secret hacks that will make publishing in the best journals easy. We'll start with hacks you need to implement before actually starting to write your paper, then move through the writing and the whole submission process. So regardless where you're currently at with the paper that you're writing, you'll find these hacks useful. And they will not only get you published, but also turn you into an authority in your field so that you can get better academic positions and maybe get tenure. Now, if you're new here, my name is Marek Kiczkowak and I run Academic English Now, where we help PhD students and researchers publish papers in top Scopus Index journals. If your papers get rejected from top journals in your field, this first hack will give you an easy way to get accepted almost every single time, even in the top journals, and publish three to five papers every single year. Let me show you how I use this hack to get my paper to the fifth best journal um, out of 1,088 journals in language and linguistics. And it wasn't difficult to publish at all. In fact, the paper got raving reviews and very minor revisions. Why? Because it was completely novel. No one else before me had done a study like this in my field, ever. And I'm not saying this to boast at all, but to show you that by being different, you can publish in top journals very easily. But how do you make your research different? Well, you need three things. First, look for ideas in other fields and then apply those research ideas to yours. You will find research ideas then that no one else in your field sees. The second way to make your research ideas truly stand out and be different is by using personal and professional experience. I got the idea for this paper that I just showed you um, while being in a meeting uh, with editors and other course books writers while I was working on a course book. And the third way to make your papers different is the research gap. So look for completely unexplored research areas or limitations of previous studies or topics where researchers really disagree about a particular issue. If you combine these three, then publishing in top journals in your field will be so easy that it will feel like cheating unless you wrap it up in the wrong cover. Because we all judge the book by its cover. In fact, first impressions are formed within milliseconds. That's faster than my camera's shutter. That's 200 times faster than it takes you to blink. And journal reviewers are no different. They'll form the first impression about your paper very, very fast. And what the brains are looking for is a known pattern. So being different here doesn't actually pay off. You want to structure your paper in the way that is expected of you in a high impact journal. You want to express your research ideas in a way that is consistent with that journal style. The more you fit in here, the better. It will be easier for the reviewer to follow your research paper and you'll immediately be associated with previous published researchers who published in top journals in your field. So how do you apply this hack in practice? First of all, study how papers in your field in top journals are structured. Note down what the published researchers do in each section of the paper and how they do it. And then develop a blueprint like this one. It will make writing so much faster, so much easier, and it will get you raving reviews from journals. By the way, if you want to get this blueprint for free, just join our free published researcher community. The link is in the description. And then also study the language that published researchers in your field use. How do they highlight the novelty of the research? How do they highlight the contributions? How do they discuss the results? And create a bank of phrases. This will get you raving reviews on your next paper and you will publish faster in better journals. That said, 
none of this will actually work unless you apply the next hack. On average, knowledge workers like PhD students and researchers are interrupted every 10 minutes and we waste on average two hours every single day dealing with interruptions. No wonder it's difficult to find time to write and publish papers. So if you're drowning in work but aren't actually publishing as many papers as you would like to, this next hack will change that and allow you to publish more while actually working less. To illustrate, let me give you an example of one of our clients, Lisette Britz. Lisette is a pediatric surgeon, she's a mother, she's a PhD student, she's a university lecturer, and she's a triathlete. Yet, she never takes work home, she never works weekends, and she published three papers in the last 12 months. She's got four more under review, so that's potentially seven papers that she's going to publish, and she's working on four more papers. How did she do it? Here are three simple steps that you can follow as well. First of all, minimize or preferably eliminate all non-essential tasks. In other words, any tasks that do not move you forward to your ultimate goal, which is publishing papers. They need to be eliminated or be delegated or reduced to an absolute minimum. Um, think of emails, meetings, for example. Second of all, eliminate all distractions. So no phone, no email, no notifications, no knocks on your door in your office. Find a quiet spot and get rid of anything and everything that distracts you. Third, block your agenda for writing. Block your work calendar for writing. If you have an important meeting, like a meeting with your supervisor or meeting with your PhD students, you block it and you put it in your agenda, right? Well, the same should happen for writing. It's a meeting and the most important meeting with yourself. And this hack also means that nobody else can book a meeting with you at that time because your work calendar will be busy. So now you have amazing research ideas written up and structured perfectly and time in your calendar to write. But unless you apply this fourth hack, trying to publish your paper in a top Scopus Index journal will be like trying to fit this triangle block into this square or round hole. No matter how hard you try, it just doesn't fit and it's frustrating. Think of these blocks as your paper, different types of papers. And think of these holes as different journals. You have to match your paper to the right journal. When you do, publishing a paper feels like cheating and you will get raving reviews. When you don't, no matter how hard you try and no matter how perfect and nice your paper is, is just not going to fit and your paper will continue getting rejected. So how do you find the right journal that fits your paper? Well, you have to go to the journal's website and check the submission guidelines. First of all, make sure that the topic that you've chosen for your paper is actually acceptable by that journal because some journals are interested in very specific topics and not interested in other topics. Also make sure that the type of pa your paper that you're trying to publish, like for example a theoretical paper, a review paper, an experimental paper, is something that the journal wants because some journals only want experimental papers, they're not interested in review papers or vice versa. If you do that, then publishing your papers will become easy because you have the right paper for the right journal and then it really feels like cheating. So if you apply these four hacks, publishing the next research paper in a top Scopus Index journal shouldn't be hard. But how do you develop a system to publish three or more papers every single year without journal rejection so that you can become the go-to authority in your field, get better academic positions, get tenure and enjoy the whole process. In this next video, I break down the entire process and show you the whole system that we've tested with over 400 PhD students and researchers that will allow you to publish three or more papers every single year without journal rejections. So watch this next video.